Nintendo. What do you think when you hear that word? Do you think a family-friendly games company? Do you think the people who saved gaming in the 80s? Do you think the best game makers out there? You probably think, oh, they're just for kids. Oh, it's just a kid's game console. Oh, they don't have deep game player stories. Oh, they're just too colorful. It's not monotone enough. Well, here's the truth about Nintendo. You say they're just for kids. Have you even played Majora's Mask? You say that they aren't good at telling stories. Once again, I repeat, have you played Majora's Mask? You say that they have not deep gameplay. Have you played Splatoon or Super Mario Maker? I mean, these games allow you to craft your own levels for Mario and shoot people with ink in a creative third-person shooting game, the likes of which we had never seen before. You say they are just for kids? Have you looked at the darker subtexts of certain games? Pikmin and Splatoon take place after the extinction of humanity, for Pete's sake. Majora's Mask has a moon that's falling down on you, crushing the land of Termina that you cannot stop unless you save the world in three days. At the end of that three days, you get a vivid cutscene in which the moon falls and destroys the world, including you. Long story short, Nintendo is the king of making detailed, graphic, wonderfully fun, colorful games. And just because it's colorful doesn't make it kitty. Oh no. Cell shading doesn't make some think hitty. Borderlands is cell shaded. It's colorful. Nintendo. King of making great games with long lasting gameplay because, face it, Call of Duty will be boring by the next year, whereas Super Mario Maker will still have infinite replay value. This concludes a lecture on Nintendo. Thank you.